an image captured every 50 meters of what a city looks like from a female perspective. What kind of cities are we building? What kind of cities do we want? I think violence against women and sexual harassment today is clearly a global problem. In India, the added dimension probably is the male-dominated nature of public spaces. Crime rates are high in India's inner cities, and women and girls are especially vulnerable. Fears for their personal safety mean women sometimes avoid going to work or stay at home altogether. Safety Pin is a personal safety app looking to change that. It gathers data such as images of Delhi streets at night that show, for example, if they're busy or empty, well lit, served by public transport and so on. My vision is to improve the access and the rights of women and girls to access all opportunities in cities around the world. And technology for me is an enabler in that. So Safety Pin is a technology which helps to collect data that allows both women and girls to move more freely in the city. At the same time, it provides data to key urban stakeholders such as city governments to make the changes. A long-time women's rights activist, Kalpana Viswanath, was motivated in part by the 2012 Delhi gang rape that took place in a bus, and in part simply by maternal protectiveness. In Delhi, we actually used our data to show the government that there was about 7,800 dark spots in the city. Okay. Right? That means patches in the city have absolutely no light. Now used by the city authorities, Safety Pin is expanding its range to include public toilets and bus stops. But cities such as Delhi change all the time. Urban planners don't always have the time and money to factor in the safety of girls and women. The entrepreneur has developed three apps. My Safety Pin, which is partly based on crowdsourced data, Safety Pin Night, which takes pictures of the city from vehicles, and Safety Pin Track, which alerts users, friends, and family to their location. So one thing is that we are very aware that you know, data can be misused. So we, um, for example, in our tracking feature, we are very clear that only a woman can ask someone to track her. So nobody can take a decision to track someone else. So we're very careful that we don't want it to become a stalking app. My motivation, my desire is to see that the world changes. Safety Pin is changing the world for women. In Bogota, it's been used to improve safety along cycle tracks and in Hanoi to strengthen sustainable public transport. Urban planning by women for women. That supports safer cities.